This is the Turfway Park Report for Saturday, December 16th, 2017, day 12 of our holiday meeting. We have eight races on the car. Temperature hovering around 50 degrees at post time. And of course, the poly track is fast. Tonight's first race is a two-year-old open claimer, 30,000 down to 20,000 the claiming tag, the distance six and a half furlongs. Morning line favorite, the big class chopper from the Wesley Ward Bar, number three, Jupster with Julio Garcia. And they are off. Red Alert was quick into stride, but it's Chavu who has the most speed. And as they leave that six and a half furlong shoot, Chavu will clear off and lead by just about three lengths. Stablemate Jupster races in between horses to that one's inside. Maximus Luck. Red Alert. It settles along nicely out on the clear while fourth. Down along the inside, Mugracito is fifth. Way out wide. And Gaston races along the sixth position. Then a margin of four. Back to Revolutionize. And at the back of the pack, as they make their entrance into the far turn, is over criticized. 23 seconds was the time for the opening quarter. And it's Chavu shows the way. Maximum luck. Down along the inside is second. Here goes Jupster. Julio Garcia lets him out a notch, and he is breezing up well in hand. In fact, Julio's looking behind for competition, and the only one behind him with a chance is in Gaston. As they run around the turn, the half is in 46 seconds flat, and they run to the top of the stretch. And Chavu played the role as Rabbit will turn the corner with a half length lead, but now Jupster, the Son of Mine Chef ranges up to the outside. And Gostin right up to his saddle tail there as they have an eighth of a mile to go. And Jupster, but here's Ungostin at four to one, trying to spoil the upset here. It's a Gostin trying to put away Jupster late on the scene. Red alert as they race down to the final 50 yards. And Gostin will get it done. And Gostin wins by a length and a half. Red alert was second. Jupster, the six to five favorite, was third in 118 and two. Number eight, and Gostin stalks the pace and upsets the favorite here at four to one for owner Twin Magnolia Farm. Jordan Blair, the winning trainer, and Ty Kennedy was along for the winning ride. The winner, 1040, 580, 440. Second, number five, Red Alert. Third, number three, the favorite, Jupster. And fourth to six, over Criticize. Superfecta, $1,354 even. The Exacta was $99.80. The Try, $167 even. Running time for the six and a half furlongs, 118 and three fifth seconds. Tonight's second race, a claiming event for the Phillies and Mares, which have not won three in the last two years or never won four life. The distance, six furlongs. The horse to beat, number seven, Pink for me with Perry Utes. And they are off. Slow start for Equile, but it was a quick beginning for Aeropagus. Also quick into stride right alongside both Acid Rain and a little bourbon. These three in a line as they head up the back stretch. Three lengths for the back, boarding card settles along nicely in fourth. Pink for me and Perry Utes races along in fifth, about five and a half off the pace now. Then Ocala Magic and a length and a half for the back to the Blame Dame. Then there's a margin of four back to Will and Grace, and Equally after that slow start is last ten lengths off the lead. Entrance into the far turn, three and a half for long still to go. First quarter was time 23 and one fifth seconds. So it's a little bourbon and Errol Pegas. These two continue to race stride for stride, ranging up on the four wide side. Here comes Pink for me, who's moving well on that far turn. Whip comes out on Acid Rain as they continue to run around the turn. Also, Ocalo Magic is picking them off one by one from the back, and they run to the top of the stretch, and Errol Pegas up to the outside of a little bourbon. Pink for me continuing to grind away, and here comes the white blaze of Pink for me, bearing down to the outside, trying to follow her as Ocala Magic, 180 yards left to go. It's Pink for me. Ocala Magic, the big long shot at 56 to 1, is going to try to spoil it. Pink for me, shaken up by Oots. Ocala Magic lunging these two in a Florence photo finish. Ocala Magic to the outside, Pink for me to the inside, heads up and down at the wire, 113 and 1. Number nine, Ocala Magic blows up the tote board at 56 to one, winning it for Luis Rossello, Webster Rossello, the winning trainer, and Malcolm Franklin was up top for the winning ride. The Philly returns $114, 3280-1540. Second was number seven, Pink for me. Third, number eight, the Blame Dame. Fourth goes five, Will and Grace. The nine, seven exacta. $305.80, the $1 try, $1,553.30, the daily double, $407.20, the 10 cent super, $1,479.84, running time, one thirteen and one fifth second.
Tonight's third race, a maiden claimer for the maiden two-year-olds, the distance one mile. Scratch number four, Azora High, and scratch the seven, Sun Kitty. Morning line favorite number two, Kentucky Kitten for trainer Mike Maker. And they are off. JLo's Invader caught a flyer leaving the gate. Also quick and just tried Rocket Warrior. Now Kentucky Kitten will lead him on to the charge to the clubhouse turn. So it's Ken and Sarah Ramsey's Kentucky Kitten trying to dictate the terms. Pressured from Rocket Warrior earlier. These two, Matt Stride, John of the Run, the clubhouse turn. JLo's Invader, who broke fast, has been wrangled in hand back into third, about two and a half lengths off of that pair of leaders. Then four links for the back is Joe Frank who settles long in fourth for the Foster family. Way out wide. Crossfire now moves a closer fifth. Through from between horses. Work tab is next. Our double trouble being scrubbed upon to keep pace there early and pint size has one horse beat at the back of the pack and that is work foe. First quarter 25 seconds flat. On to the back stretch run. They're just outside the half mile pole. And it's Rocket Warrior just from Kentucky Kitten. They went the half in 48 and 4. J Lowe's Invader moves a closer third. Then there's a margin of about five links back to Work Tab, who is fourth, but starting to roll on the outside. There goes both R Double Trouble and Crossfire. Then a margin of six links back to Joe Frank and Pint Size is still last as they continue to run around the turn. And nothing's changed up front. No twist in the plot. Rocket Warrior and Kentucky Kitten continue to spar out three quarters one 13 and four neither of these two given an inch as they run at the top of the stretch rocket warrior to the outside kentucky kitten to the inside they have just outside of an eighth of a mile to go and kentucky kitten just narrowly but rocket warrior will not give up is fighting on in second long way back to work tab one sixteenth left it's rocket warrior kentucky kitten now edging clear kentucky kitten and victor lebron's gonna win it by just about a length in the end rocket warrior second work tab third and r Double Trouble was fourth in 141 and one. Number two, Kentucky Kitten grinds out the maiden break and victory, was hooked every jump and turned them all away. Number two, Kentucky Kitten owned by Ken and Sarah Ramsey, trained by Mike Meeker and Victor LeBron, starting to heat up here at the track. Kentucky Kitten, $563, $260. Second, number three, Rocket Warrior, third, the eight work tab, finishing fourth, number one, our Double Trouble. The winning exacta two and three twelve eighty, the trifecta forty one ninety, the superfecta two hundred dollars eighty cents, the daily double two hundred ninety three dollars twenty cents, and the pick three six hundred twenty five dollars and fifty cents. Running time for the third race one forty one and three. Tonight's fourth race is a maiden two-year-old claimer, 15 down to 10. They'll go six and a half furlongs. Scratch number one, mid-watch. Morning line favorite number two, Just Be Frank with Gabe Lagunas. Post. And they are racing. Horrible beginning for Ride on Mason on debut. Must be already 12 lengths last as they head out of that chute. But it's Elkhorn Poet with the blinkers on today. Shows the way, but racing with that head high, giving the jockey a little bit of trouble there. Big and brilliant as ranged up to the outside second. Just be frank, a class dropping son of Warrior's Reward slides up the fence third. Rocky Roma covers him up to the outside fourth. Cerulean Springs and Shelby Kurtz settles along in the fifth position. Out in the clear, about four off the pace, three in front of Riddling Reason on the turn back. Then four links further back to ride on Mason. And now B's Bundle of Joy just past Rolly coaster as they continue to run around the turn so up top it's elkhorn poet the one to catch Big and brilliant, being punched along to keep pace. Here's Cerulean Springs breezing up to the outside while third. Whip comes out on Just Be Frank at 9-5. to five. Rides the rail while fourth. Rocky Roma trying to catch that one as they run at the top of the stretch. Elkhorn Poet has done all the heavy lifting and comes rolling off the turn in front by three. Two lengths further back down the outside. Cerulean Springs through from the inside. Just Be Frank and late on the scene, Rocky Roma. But with just about a 16th mile left to go, it is Elkhorn Poet. Elkhorn Poet, Cerulean Springs up into second, Just Be Frank third. Elkhorn Poet on the class drop wins here for the Cowan's Barn by a length and a half. Cerulean Springs was next, Just Be Frank, then came Rocky Roma in 119 and 1. Number three, Elkhorn Poet takes them all the way up top on the class drop. For trainer Doug Cowens, owner Doug Arnold Jr. and jockey Ty Kennedy, the three Elkhorn Poet with the blinkers on and start five breaks the maiden, returns 580, 340, 240. Second, the 10, Cerulean Springs, third, two, Just Be Frank, finishing fourth, number five, Rocky Roma. Pick three, $403.40.
The Exacta of 3 and 10 returns $29 even. The Dime Super, $11.65. The Trifecta, for a dollar ticket, $37. The $1 Super, $116.50. Running time, 119 and 1 fifths seconds. Tonight's fifth race is a claiming event for three-year-olds and up, which have never won three. The claiming tag, $7,500, the distance one mile. Field of 11 with no program changes. Number six, Heat Road is the morning line favorite. Jackie Ty Kennedy looking for a hat trick. And they are off and running. Horrible beginning for Elgato Felix B. He hopped right as they kicked it and is last. Heat Road and Ty Kennedy sending on out for the lead. Negu will prompt it from second. Nance Picero away racing in the third position on the run the clubhouse turn. These three in a line. And then taking off that trio comes Sigwart. Rake it in. The class dropper settles along in the fifth position. About four off the pace. And LA Flow, my lax bro, is next. Four lengths further back to uh, Landline and Negu. And then a break of three, three and a half lengths further back to here. Here comes Doc, and the two back markers are Elgato Felix B and Ann. Thank you. First quarter, 25 and two fifth seconds. On to the back stretch run. Tearaway leader, Heat Road at four to five, leads them up the back stretch. They have four and a half furlongs to go. Shows the way the lead has bumped up to about seven lengths now. Racing in second, Nans Pierce Arrow. 13 Roses continue to race along in third. Rake it in is fourth. There goes LA Flow My Lax Pro moving well onto that far turn run. They're well strung out as they make their entrance into the turn, and the tearaway leader still is Heat Road. Shows them up top by four with three furlongs to go. 48 seconds flat was the time for the opening half mile. And Heat Road and Ty Kennedy still show the way by just about five lengths. Nance Piercero still racing in the second position. Three lengths further back. L.A. Flow My Lax Pro is being called upon from third. Through from the inside, 13 roses as they run to the top of the stretch. Three quarters, 113 flat. And Heat Road drifts well off of the rail. And they're starting to get to him. Here's Nance Piercero through from the inside, gaining ground as they race into the stretch. There's L.A. Flow My Lax Pro with a six. 16th of a mile left to go. L.A. Flow, my lax bro, is drawing away. He's going to win by almost six in the end. Tight photo for second. Looked like Nance Pierce Arrow nabbed Heat Road right on the line. And another pitcher for fourth in 139 and one. Number 11, L.A. Flow, my lax bro, getting it done here for owner Elizabeth Kuhn, Elise Wood Kendall, the winning trainer, and Johnny McKee was up top. Third lifetime victory now over the synthetic. He improves his record to 10-4-11, only missing the board one time. L.A. Flow, my lax bro, 16-40, 9-40, Second to nine, Nance Pierce Arrow. Third to six, Heat Road. Fourth goes eight, 13 roses. The 50 cent pick five was hit, 15,600 $33.40, the exact of $129.40. Pick three, $75.20, the daily double was worth $48.60. Tonight's sixth race is an allowance optional claimant event. The distance, six furlongs. Jockey change on the four, well labeled to Victor LeBron. Morning line favorite, the entry from the Willowbrook Stables and Jerry Carden Barn. Number one, Snow Leopard and the 1A Hollywood Talent. They are racing in Hollywood talent broke sharp but it's well abled who has the most speed through from the inside CJ's mister up on the outside while you may as a close-up fourth snow leopard away in the fifth position two links further back to hunk of burning love and silento is at the back of the pack about six links from top to bottom as they storm up the back stretch here in Florence and they pass the half mile pole and it's well abled and Victor LeBron show the way through the first quarter in 22 and four fifth seconds onto the far turn run well able, the one to catch. Through from the inside, Hollywood Talent now races a closer second. Hollywood Talent right there. And then Snow Leopard, a stable mate, comes through the inside of While You May, who starts to range up and kicked it into top gear outside the quarter mile pole now. So well able, the one to catch. Well able, here's While You May with that token pressure. And these two come together at the top of the lane and well able. Down on the inside, Snow Leopard presents a challenge. While You May continuing to grind away. An eighth of a mile to go. And well able is opening up. Snow Leopard switches off cover to the outside. Here's While You May up into third. 16th left to go. No doubt about it. Take a look at this one. Well abled in front running style. Wins by three. Snow Leopard second. While you may third. And hunk of burning love. Ran on to be fourth. Number four. Well abled from flag fall to that's all. Three-year-old son of Shacklefold. All the way up top. Let me do that again. Shacklefold. <laughs> three, two, one. 
Number four, well-abled gate to wire under Victor LeBron for owner Carolyn Wilson, trained by Larry Ravelli. Number four, well-abled, a three-year-old son of Shackelford, picks up fourth lifetime victory over the synthetic in just his fifth career start. He covered the six furlongs in a flashy 109 and three. And returns, 560, $3, 220. Finishing second, number one, Snow Leopard. Third, number six, Wild Ye May. And fourth, the two, Hunk of Burnin' Love. The exacta was four and one. That returns $12. The dollar try, four one six, eleven dollars and seventy cents. Pick three, one hundred forty one dollars thirty cents, and the daily double returns sixty three dollars. Tonight's seventh race is an allowance optional claimant event for the two year olds, which have not won a race other than six furlongs the distance, field of nine to go, morning line favorite number five, Fort Wise Treaty for trainer Brad Cox. And they are off all the way to an even beginning. From the middle, Field of Dreams is the first to show. Also, Sanderstead. And through from the inside, Sydney's Ransom. These three lead them up the back stretch. Kitty, Cat, Kate. For four of the people, races along the inside, fourth out to the outside. There goes Fort Wise, Treaty, and Keat on top, moving together. They're fourth and fifth. Now back in uh, six, Kitty, Cat, Kate. Out wide is Storm Coast, and a link for the back to King Valero. And five links for the back, Elliott Road. Must be about 12 links off of the lead. First quarter was time, 23 and one fifth second. Field of Dreams shows the way three parts of a length. Sanderstead racing up in a second. On the three wide side, Fort Wise Treaty through from the fence. Sydney's Ransom. Here comes Storm Coast with a wide sweeping move. Orange Silk's blue cap is taking a wide angle on that far turn run, but is closing as they run past the quarter mile pole to the top of the lane. And that's all for Field of Dreams. There goes Fort Wise Treaty cut loose by LeBron. Storm Coast and Johnny McKee the danger through from the inside. Sydney's Ransom with that rail skimming ride from Dean Sarvis. One eighth of a mile to go. Fort Wise Treaty just from Storm Coast. Sydney's Ransom still in along the rail. One sixteenth left. Fort Wise Treaty digging in. Storm Coast lunging. Fort Wise Treaty. That's three wins for LeBron. Wins it by half a length for Mark Breen and Brad Cox. Storm Coast was second. Then came Sydney's Ransom. Field of Dreams. The running time one eleven and four. Number five, Fort Wise Treaty grinding out the win here for owner Mark Breen. Trainer Brad Cox, Victor LeBron up top for his third victory on the day. This two-year-old son of Fort Larned wins and returns 820, 480, 340. Second the nine, Storm Coast. Third number two, Sydney's Ransom. Fourth the four, Field of Dreams. Exact to $70.40. The try, $256.30. The daily double, $28.60. And the... 50 cent try, $128.15. The winning Superfecta was 5, 9, 2, and 4. That returns $1,384.90. Tonight's eighth and final race is a non two five thousand dollars claiming event to go six furlongs. Scratch numbers 10 and 11. Morning line favorite number six, Motown. Rhythm with Malcolm Franklin. And they are racing. Tax Day will get the first call, but now punching up between horses, there goes two-run triple. Patriot Song will join those two, and also Lovell is a pace presence onto the run down the backstretch. They're about six across the track as they pass the four-and-a-half furlong marker. Lovell shows the way just narrowly from a two-run triple to the inside. Out wide, there goes Tax Day. Now, Motown Rhythm was uh, amongst them. Now he's taken back into fourth onto the run the far turn. The first quarter was 23 and 3 fifth seconds. And now it's Prairie Schooner shows the way, but just narrowly as Lovell comes back to overtake the lead from second. Up on the outside, there goes Patriot Song, joint third now with Motown Rhythm. Through from between horses, ain't in no hurry. And also the handsome one starting to roll, but has seven links to raise as they run at the top of the stretch. And on the outside, Prairie Schooner, Lovell hungs the rail. Down the center of the track, here comes ain't in no hurry. On the extreme outside, south upper, and late on the scene, the handsome one as they're in the deep stretch and ain't in no hurry by the 16th pole. South upper lunging up to the outside. Lovell's in a photo with third for Motown Rhythm. Down to the wire, a photo finish with ain't in no hurry. Just narrowly from south upper and another pitcher for third, 113 flat.
Number two, Ain't In No Hurry, closes with that benefit of that early speed duel and gets up to win for the second time in his career. The winner owned and trained by Don Rowe with O'Dair Meta. $13.68, $4.60 on the winner. Second, the 12 South Upper. Third, number eight, Level. Fourth, the six, Motown Rhythm. And fifth, number seven, Patriot Song. Exact to 118.60, the try, $429. 10 cents. The double, 83.60. Pick four, 595.90. And the super, $2,267.40. The late pick three, $125.80. Running time for the six furlongs, 113 flat. Well, that wraps it up for Racing from Turfway Park. This has been the Turfway Park Report.